Yo, what is up, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're doing another review on the league player Gonzalo Cuedes. Uh, he is the new purple card released for La Liga. We're going to go through the player, his details, his stats, the traits on him, our clips on him, what the requirements are to get him, our usual summary at the end. But before we get into all of that, could I please ask you guys to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you're not bored, and comment down below what your thoughts are on this card and how you think this card stacks up against other league cards. Guys, before we get further into the view, I know some of you have been requesting players. As you guys can see from the team that I'm using today, um, one of my, I'm reset my account, I'm doing a new account again. So I will get to those players. I am building up my coins right now to be able to buy them. So just bear with and I will get to them very soon. I've got a bunch of them on the list, so don't worry. We'll be getting to them. If you do have any other players you wanna see as well, please do uh, let me know down below. Anyway, getting into the review, this is the team I used him in, so I would off, I would sub him and Cunha onto the pitch uh, straight after the starting whistle. Um, Robin out on the right, uh, Cly Clyber out on the on the right back as well, and then Sam Maximan. So really a pacey attack, good quick attack to play him with. Uh, was really dynamic in that attack as well, guys. I absolutely loved this card. It took me a couple of games to figure him out, but once I did, my god was he good um getting into the card he is 510 high medium work rates right footed four stars home is four star weak foot so very good actually um in terms of usability for you guys um he can play either on the wing he can play a striker he can play a number he can't play number 10 that was one thing i was about to say he, i was about to say he could play number 10 but i don't think he can he's not technical enough to play the number 10 position but he can definitely play striker can definitely play wide on the wing um as you guys can see i played nine games with him 20 goals and four assists now guys before i get further into this there was a lot of goals footage and stuff like that now i didn't want to lengthen this uh review out too much and some of my footage did corrupt so i've got some clips of all of his game for you to see how he plays don't worry there are some clips of his goal scoring and assists but just not as many as you guys might want uh bear with me that will be fixed in the future as well Getting some of the details, I chucked a dead eye on him, I wanted his shooting and passing to be better, his link up play still was lacking despite having the dead eye on him, um, so that's maybe a bit of a con of the card, uh, was that his link up needs to be a bit better, but it's perfectly usable for a striker, um, I think I was just wanting too much from him, uh, so again, very usable there, shooting is very good, especially from distance guys, you're going to see a couple of good pings from distance, um, of course he plays uh, in uh, La Liga for Valencia and a Portuguese player who've got some nice link ability and they will get into that more in the summary um, but yeah some good options there as well and he is of course coming as standard as a centre forward card getting into some of the stats we'll just go through the key pros and cons here the pros of course his pace 80 acceleration 91 sprint speed absolutely fantastic his shot power and long shots 90 on both of those so really once you get into any sort of range in and around the box you are going to be leathering that ball um, all of his dribbling is pretty neat and tidy as well the cons of this card guys his finishing 82 finishing is not good enough uh, sometimes he doesn't put it quite in the corner of the net you'll see that in a couple of the chances that he has um, in the clips that he doesn't quite stick away the ones you think oh maybe that should have gone in um, but other Otherwise, he was absolutely fantastic. And the other con as well is his stamina. Um, his stamina is only 80. So he doesn't really have the legs later in the game to keep you going. But as far as free cards go, guys, this card is absolutely sensational. I, I will get more into it as we go through it. But I definitely think this card is worth the grind. Getting to his traits now. Injury prone. Now, he did get injured a couple of times for me. Luckily, of course, because it's online, he didn't have to come off. Flourish. Flare trait, long shot, taker trait, speed dribbler, and technical dribbler. Now, the dribbling traits are really fantastic. He does benefit really well from those long shots as well. Great long shot taker too. Really, really good in that respect as well. Now that we've gone through the card, let's get into what requirements you need to do to get him. So we're guys, getting into some of Gwed's, uh his requirements here. We've got uh, 15 La Liga wins in the managerial masterpiece, 30 goals with La Liga players, 20 assists with La Liga players, score an outside of the box goal in four separate matches with La Liga players, and score a finesse goal in six separate matches with La Liga players. Now, guys, the only one that I would say is taxing out of any of this is the 15 matches with 11 La Liga players, especially given that managerial masterpiece, your squad is limited to 77 rated. So try and be creative with that. Use three non-rare 65 rated silvers. Use the rest of the bench uh, as you will. Put the higher rated players on your bench because it doesn't affect your score rating on your squad as much. Um, otherwise, guys, I whizzed through these pretty much. Uh, and of course, there's no limit on the games for this friendly. So you can do the golden goal rule as a lot of people have been doing, or you can play out the games if you would like to as well. Um, overall, it took me maybe two and a half hours to get this card done. So, I mean, it's not a long time at all. I got the four of these done very quickly. Um, I think within the first half an hour, but then the 15 matches just took a bit of time and sometimes people left, sometimes they didn't. So that's the only thing that's a bit laborious about this card, but otherwise very easy to do. Um, now that we've done this, let's get into some of the clips that I got with him. 
So guys, getting, getting into some of Gwedge's clips here, and this is one of the clips here that I wanted to show you. This is what Gwedge is really good at. Here you again, you can take him out to the left wing and really run with him. Again, that is only David Beckham he's going past, but here again, the fullback tries to come onto him. A good little bit of strength there as well. Unlucky with the finish there. I expected him to actually stick that away, and that's what I mean by some of the finishes he doesn't quite get. Um, I expected him to put this away as well. Didn't quite stick it in the far corner there. Um, it's not a massive drawback because most of the time when you get into these positions, he does get very good finishes off. Again, then you see a lovely ball there. Now his passing's okay and good for a striker actually. I, I keep knocking it, but actually it's good for a striker and very usable. Um, but here again, uses dribbling, open up a nice easy ball and it's a simple finish for Sam Maximan in the back of the net. Again here guys, he makes a good he makes a good move there. You can dribble around with him a little bit and just look at this ball here. After he wins the ball back off the defender, he holds him off there. Good little bit of strength. Again, holds him off there and a lovely ball round to Cunha. And that's a tight little ball, so it's not bad. It's just not elite how I would want it to be. Now, as we get into the fun part of this card, some of the goals, and look at that for a ping. Now, I was 3-0 down, and I do lose a lot of these games, guys, but I do this because I like having fun with the cards. Again, here, you watch this little turn there, dribbles away from the man, cut in there, and beautiful smash. You see that shot power, the keeper has no chance keeping that one out. Again, here, lovely little couple of turns there. He keeps the ball very neat and tidy. Again, turn away from the defender, drive past another one, that acceleration coming into play, and a smash. Again, no chance for the keeper, too powerful, too precise there as well. Another great thing about this card, guys, is his attack positioning. He positions himself very well in the box to give you good options to finish the chances off and get easy goals. Again here, look, he plays that ball there, makes a good run for Robin and finishes that beautifully. And in this final clip here, guys, this isn't so much about his play in in the goal, rather than his positioning. Again, he's holding, 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 and there again, he pops up in the right position between the two and scores a lovely goal. So guys, getting into the final Goncalo Gwedz card, we are, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong by the way, I am butchering that name, but I'm really sorry. Please do put in the comments as well how I pronounce the name properly. From the Portuguese centre forward from La Liga, of course, does not cost you guys anything, you just have to do the objectives. Um, nine games played, 20 goals scored and four assists. So I played him primarily as a striker, I didn't enjoy using him as much as a winger. Um, he's good as a winger but he's not an elite level winger and I think now we're getting to the point in the game where we're starting to get a lot of players who can play a winger a lot better than he can but as striker there aren't a lot of cards like that who can do what he can do uh, with the mix and variety that he has as well the size level he has too um, in terms of key stats I put uh, his shot power and his long shots those are the key things about this card guys that you need to watch out for especially if you're playing against him you're able to ping a long shot off with him especially cutting up from that left wing on that right foot you know four star foot isn't bad um, so his left foot it will be dangerous as well uh, 82 finishing not good enough for me needs to be slightly higher but again if you make the finishes easy enough he's not going to miss um, and then of course his stamina was a bit of a con for me as well in terms of linkability you've got some good links in like players like Jao Felix, Jose Gaia, you've got Carlos Soler as well so you've got some good players in there you could link to him uh, Valencia and Portugal wise of course you can go across leagues as well with that nationality too and in terms of similar player, I put Anthony Martial um, I think he offers a similar sort of game to Anthony Martial uh, not particularly strong but very quick very technical easily usable at the striker position would I recommend doing this card guys 100% yes. Uh, it took me a couple of games to figure out how to use him, so I didn't score any goals in three or four games with him. Um, and then I scored 20 goals in five games. So that should say it all. I absolutely love this card. For me, it's up there. It's, I think it's the best purple card they've released up there with Bellerin and Dale Lefeo as well was very good, but this card beats them both. And this is a really sensational card and I would 100% recommend you guys doing it, 100%. Hope you guys did enjoy the review and if you did, please do smash that like button. And until next time, I will see you all in a bit.